You gotta do it, aren't you? <laughs> Swine. You see, can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... <laughs> Apartment ending? Or m maybe not. Yeah. Well, you never know, actually. You can get out here and then it still goes, No, you're still on the same Wait, path at the moment. Stanley thought to himself. Oh, there you go. Am I sure Told that you. the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. They just when you think it's ended, it aren't. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I can't even remember how to get to the Night Shark fucking door anymore. How the hell did you do that? How did I do that? Did I go... Did I jump off the cargo? It was somewhere early in the begin beginning, wasn't it? Did I jump off the cargo lift? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. Well, it's okay now. It's not so great anymore. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Some- What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Let me prove it. Let oh, me man, prove I, I... that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. How do you now get listen carefully. To the this green is office. Stanley the green boss room. through the red door. Let's... I don't think doing what he wants is the way of doing it. Oh, but... thank God you are willing to <laughs> listen to me. different anyway. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. I can't remember how I got to that green office. Hmm. I know it was down the bad Do line. Want? What are we looking for? Hmm? What's this? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> That's kind of nice. if it does anything. I did.
paint in space. I want to see what it does. It's the entire point of the game. I'm not supposed to rush through it. I'm supposed to take it in. Observe and enjoy. Plus I love shit like that. I watch like graphic visualizers all day, mate. Screensavers, fancy screensavers and shit. Mesmerizing. You got anything else? Snot in space, not quite doing it. it It's good how they've added in so much though, like, I mean, you'd think they'd have stopped doing stuff by now, wouldn't you? Like, oh, no one's gonna stand here this long. No one's gonna stand here this long. So what's the point of changing the colours and the... I mean, maybe it's randomised, who knows? I bet it in, though. I bet it in. Seems quite happy. Regardless of what I'm asking, it's like, I don't know what the fuck you're saying, man. You know this, but you know, blink blink back at you. Is that it? Fair enough. This is uh, sat through it. St story to tell the grandchildren. No, wait. Where are you going? The hell is this? Oh no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. He's getting a bit panicky, isn't he? Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. The only way is to end it. Really? That wood door with a light, what about that? No? And it's not saying anything else, so the only Please, way. Please, Stanley, think about Ooh. what you're doing. I thought so the only way was down, but it's then he started talking. Better give him a second. <laughs> Man, I was running off the edge there. It's like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Oops. I apologize. I just hit the mic arm with my e -cig. I would say the mic arm won, but to be honest, neither won there. I think that was a stalemate. The mic arm didn't really move, and neither did the e-cig. There? Yep. No! Oh, thank God. You lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we- No. No, no, what are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't <laughs> okay. go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Okay, okay. Back to the light sparkly room. Whee! This one's good. Start again. Alright. I guess you got to keep jumping. Maybe if I land on my head, that'll do it. This time. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that? My god, is this really how much you dislike my game? 
But you'll throw yourself <laughs> on this platform over and over to be rid of it? You are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? <laughs> but I'm sad. Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. <laughs> is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. <laughs> cool ending. Hey, oh, blank. What's wrong with him? What's, what's... Stanley had oh. never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. A sign of something. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, I had to get... Wait a minute. Was it unplugging the phone? Was that how I got to the green door? No, that's how I got to the baby game, wasn't it? Oh my god. What was it? What if a... Uh, what were the options if a... Uh, if I jump off onto the lower platform from the cargo lift? Oh, I cannot remember. I cannot remember. The hell was it? Unplug the phone? Or jump off the... It was definitely down the bad way. And... Then did it reset? And it took me back to the beginning and then I went to the boss's office? But if I go down the right way and then jump off the cargo lift? I've, I've just done that. But I can't remember what choices I made. It, did it reset? Oh, fuck. Sorry, guys. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. <laughs> it was so okay now. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, if I cut through there... It's still the same. Stanley was so bad same red at following office, directions. I need the green office. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I just can't Look, remember Stanley, how I, got to it. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. I've just here. gone to the right, didn't I? I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize well, I've got a that ending there. The trust in someone else right. can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been. What? Really? I think so. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. I went side. through the red door. Give me a chance. Last time. Let's try going through now, the blue door. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Fucking hell. Aha. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to no, find where out does what this lies take at the end of this to the road, baby you game. chosen world? Don't let me stop you. You see, there's nothing here. This is the baby game room. Finish isn't it? building this section of the map. Because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. It's pretty Broken funny, this room, but... Exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Is this the baby Was it worth more? ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help hmm. me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable so desires not, of yours. I know yours. it was definitely down the what bad route, so it's not this way. What did you it want has to be to unplugging vehicles? the phone. Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. I didn't, I didn't try to go, go ahead, this Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. 
Would you say that the game now. benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free Let's to try to rate it low. I'm looking and see for some real critical feedback here. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Second door. Takes you to the same place, now, doesn't it? Would you say All three choices are the exact same. Well, at least, at least found that. feel motivated to keep walking through doors. Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play It's the baby game, isn't it? You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. It scares the shit out of me. God. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. <laughs> but of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. You heartless <laughs> bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I was me. like, damn, I've gone down I'm the same thing. It's being exactly the I'm same out. as what I did before, but it wasn't, actually. It's over. Thank you for playing. Different Your on the feedback and valuable. going through the different doors oh, hey, find out that the so exact awful, same place. Why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. You just skip pain. the leaderboard bit. Let's see. What do we have here? Oh, it's gonna, now it's going to be the same, though, like Minecraft and shit. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Right, fair enough. Right, begin the game again. Right. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? He's coming out with some different lines at the beginning now. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew Different stuff at the beginning, well. but the lounge. Perhaps he wanted to just stop the by the employee lounge first, it was just okay. to admire it. It was okay. Uh, it, was, it was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I want that green office with the panda with a gun to its head. I'm gonna get Stanley that Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible it's he wasn't It's got to be this way. I've fully exhausted that right way now, I'm sure. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. Oh, no, 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 you can't... Did you just unplug the phone? <laughs> now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did UK you do plug that? socket as well. You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Oh, did you see a UK check. plug socket in a game? I, I completely forgot to mention that before. I was so no, busy laughing at that. It's definitely here, clear as day. You rarely Stanley see a UK picks plug up socket. The phone. He's taken to his apartment fact, where he finds his wife, and the two ever think of to one, one another. Ever. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? Oh, it's gonna go through the video oh, now, isn't it? Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> it goes through the... the help video. I can't video. believe I was so mistaken. 
This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect and choices. And to think video. I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. Oh, I think this, this might be it, though. This might be it. Sorry for going through this again, but... basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. It was a different ending. Get to the green office the and then of the situation. do nothing. Well, I won't have that it did end. Risk on this count. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens <laughs> of impoverished <laughs> third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. <laughs> Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. <laughs> Allow the person Real to what? finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part practice to what? a healthy we'll decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision-making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Right. I think we're on to it now. Takes you back to the beginning, doesn't it? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. I think it takes you back to the beginning. And then we do what he wants. Wait a minute. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Stop it. It's a door he wants, and it should take us to the green office, I believe. Maybe. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Right. As in the left door, <laughs> you know. I hope he didn't have to go into the right door, then the left door. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Down Coming there to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. You see, I told you that it didn't say it's, like, staff bathroom or whatever like that, employee bathroom on there. Here we go. The green room. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once picture. again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. 
He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Right, this time. But it's, wait a minute, Stanley doesn't speak, does he? Oh my god. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night shark oh my god, it, the, oh, he spoke it into the receiver. That ending could right not have played me anymore. Oh, it couldn't have played me I'm any sorry, harder there. there. Problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please. Because I got there the first the time and deliberately wasn't doing Otherwise what it wanted and looking around, and I got this a different ending. Is a crucial step. So I'm like. Oh, well, there must be two endings to that way. As I was saying, there must be two endings, you know, I accidentally stumble on one. Okay, fine. You're oh, not my God, people that have done the game you know still laugh. It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one <laughs> single <laughs> no thing way. for your respect. The kind no of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. <laughs> that ending could not have played me exactly anymore. As Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm right. Fair enough. One more try at something, guys. Uh, I just cannot think of any paths Stanley that are obvious to go. to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying. That's from the Half-Life 2 mod, though, isn't it? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his Let's left. Let's try. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. And I, I'm going left, but... Well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Let's try cutting through. See if it triggers it anything okay. different by cutting through. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Have you got around here? No. Nope. Fair enough. Worth a try. Did I say that earlier? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I did that before. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, down is the... the crazy end, isn't it? Still can't get in there? Nope. Still got... Okay. Ah, cutting through. Because the boss knows that... Sorry. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes, if the boss has suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. <laughs> Got to cut through maintenance to get in here. Extreme bathrooms! Best toilet magazine in any game. Extreme bathrooms! This is quite a nice toilet, actually. It's not bad. I don't know where the mirror's gone and shit, but... Mirrors are always quite hard to implement, and I guess if there'd have been a mirror there, you'd have seen Stanley. But then again, it might have been too bad to have seen Stanley. Because you never see him once, don't you? Like, you know, when you're above the, the map or whatever, looking down, that's the only time you see him. Oh, you can go in here as well. Well, maintenance opens up a lot of stuff, doesn't it? Magazines we've got. Indoors monthly? Well, it could be outdoors monthly, but... Ships? Great magazine. It is indoors monthly. Hey, yo! Hey, we got a different ending. Well, different path, anyway. <laughs> Some ele elevator music for us trouble. This is better than what I were going to try. I was going to go back to the um, the mind control room and try that one, two, button, four combination, see if that got you out of shit. If not, I just couldn't think of any other paths to go on. 
no branches that I could think of. The only clues I had was there was something about a vent, but it had question marks around it, and I ain't been able to see how to get into that vent, so... No idea. It's not just brief, then. How far down or up are we going? Is that the narrator or Stanley? Because Stanley apparently never talks, he just fucked me out of an ending because he didn't talk. <laughs> 